Alright, welcome back to another episode of uh, Secret War of Legends. I'm your host, Chief Sarkhan. We're continuing our adventures in Kingsmith on my shotgun hammer lady here. Uh, we completed um, deepest uh, digging deeper from the church in our last episode. We earned some camel pants, and now we're going to run out of camel pants and see what other kind of troubles we can complete in Kingsmith. So let's get to it. Here we are. We came out of the tunnels. Now uh, we're all dressed in camo, and we need to find some trouble to cause. Should we see? Oh, hi everybody! Get off me, girl! All right. So with that, let's head back up to the church. I don't think we have any more missions there. But we'll go make sure. Did you guys just all? Oh. Let's have some fun. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Good times. There we go. Now we're so. All right, so it looks like we've completed all these. We've already finished talking to him, so we need to find something else to do. So let's look at our map. Let's see here, Kingsmith War Memorial. I'm not sure if I've done that one. I don't remember if I finished everything out here or not. Let's go see if we've done that one yet. Not done the war memorial. So let's sing Veterans Day. It's our first quest of the day. Veterans Day. Alright. Kingsmith, like so many other small towns across the country, lost soldiers in the Second World War. A quick glance at the nearby graves reveal that some veterans have risen as walking dead. Honor them by putting them back in their graves as soon as possible. Fallen war veterans have risen from their graves. This is not a proper epitaph for people who died defending their freedom and human life. Send them back to the graves again. All right. We have to kill different. Oh, they're all over town. We look up here. We got to go hunt them down in the woods. All right. Time to honor the veterans by putting them back in the grave. Challenge where we're at it too. All right, nice. Okay. Oh, and there's a mission to do here too. Well, we've already done that one. There's Zed Flamer Johnson. Hey, that hurts. One veteran resting in pieces. you a big wing to go. Okay. I think I've killed this guy before. Cannonball Bill. Sorry, Bill. Your time is up.
Dead Eye Dan. Dead Eye Dan is dead. Dead, I say. Edwin kill the doc is down. No calling him in the morning for aspirin. Oh, this looks like a big guy. Terry O'Reilly, the Irish tank. Sorry, tank. Your field report has been filed. Yes, it has. All right. Now what can we do? See here, we completed that one. Completed those. We have some stuff out at the skate park. Something at the island. Madame Roger. You can tell I haven't done them because they're blue with white means they're not done. These have already been done, but you can repeat them, keeping that in mind. But right now we're working on what we haven't done. So let's pop over here. Normally I don't fast travel, but for the sake of you guys, we'll hop over there real quick. Book of Voodoo. Book of the Boker. The Book of Voodoo stands out from the abandoned garage sale. It contains helpful recipes and incantations for various situations. One of them is a powder that can disorient zombies, stop them in their tracks. Could come in handy. All right. Get some dry beach sand. Are you guys really so starved for attention? You want to come over here and let me shoot you in the face? Well, I can do that. Got some potting mix. here already got some potty mix okay need some sand and some pumpkin seeds ah pumpkin seeds there's a pumpkin Okay, to a large fire. After I shoot this guy in the head. Boom! Boom! I love that. <laughs> Alrighty, large fire. Apply the power to a locally turned guy. Okay. To do that, we do our hotkey over here, Shift-1. He was a big guy, but he fell down pretty hard. Okay. Midway up the journey of our life, I found myself within a dark forest from the straightforward paths have been lost. Dante. My sincerest apologies, but I'm currently knees deep in life's divine comedy. Yes, even I get called out of the office on occasion. If you're feeling astray, simply push ahead. I shall endeavor to read your report at my earliest convenience. It is fine work you have done. Nice. All right. So, let's look at our 
challenge log. We still have two daily challenges, a side mission and a, two main missions to complete for today. Let's look at our map. We haven't done the suicide note, so let's go do that. We found jo Jack and Wendy's bed and breakfast. Nice. Suicide note. Journey's end. A note is pinned to the door and it reads, I lost my husband of only a week to the fog. He follows the call and walks in the sea like so many others. Why am I spared? I don't know. But living without him now that I just found him is punishment worse than death. I will go after him to the pier to save him or join him. <sighs> Such a silly person. So to the end of the pier we go. Hey guys. To the end of the pier. Oh, we got a challenge. Defeat pods and incubators. Okay, we can do that. Was a quick one and I just noticed I never noticed my bar changes when I'm enraged and I haven't been using any of my other stuff down below I need to pay better attention to how I play this character okay to look into that what do I get when I go to the different bar anyway just talking out loud you can ignore me Ooh, what's that out there Fletcher Bay looks pretty intense oh she hung herself that's so sad. One cannot be lament to the woman's misfortune having her in possession a pendant that protects her from the fog only to lose her newly wed husband to those very same horrors. One might even call irony. We can't help the woman now, but we can study the protective protection granted by the pendant. And we shall. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Such pieces of arcane wording are of utmost interest. Wow. She was protected from the fog and killed herself. That is sad. Alright, now what? Let's see here. Ooh. There's something out here. The Black Graveyards. Sure, let's take a shortcut. Walking on water. Besides, you never know what's out here. Let's go take a look. This looks cool. What are those things? They look like fish guys. Let's kill some of these. Level 14 and 15. Piece of cake. I like these guys. 
Woohoo! Mission report! Alright, so we need one more daily challenge and then a couple of main missions. While we're out here, let's look around, see if there's any legends to pick up. This thing looks just totally cool. Look at that baby. That's simply awesome looking. Oh, and there's some... Wow, look at that guy. He looks pretty gnarly. How much hit points do you got? Oh, you're only a level 15. Okay. Lot of health. Ooh, this is looking like fun. Very nice. You're a big fish. This is a fight. So close. May not quite have been ready for that one. It's fun trying though. My molten armor was not keeping me as defended as I was, I was hoping. Am 
I'm sure he's completely reset. Lootfish. Oh yeah, he's completely reset. But I had him almost dead. I'm pretty sure I had almost had him.
fish faces. I killed a bunch of them. That was awesome. All right. Anything else out here? Doesn't seem to be anything else out here at the moment. All right, back to what we were doing. Now, wouldn't it be funny if this mission we find over here on the beach involves these same guys? <laughs> oh, defeat. Not those guys, these guys, ah. You fall down. <gasps> we got a loot box. And there's our uh, black gravestones, but let's finish this thing first. Where are these Veter Drog? Or is that this guy? No, that's a mauler. Oh, it's up this direction. This beach must be a specific type. Ah, there we go. up the beach here. Don't mind me. There's seven. Booyah! Alright, now we can go find out about these black stones, which is the quest we came over for. That's why I love this game. Always something to do. do the black gravestones have for us today? A slaying of Dixie Bull. Okay, grave lays on the open beach. Faint inscription on the headstone reads, the dread pirate met his demise in the island in 1632. Although the ballads might be sung of his illuminati downfall illuminated downfall his black heart can no longer terrorize new england from the look of things the mysterious pirate roams again and should be put back in his grave where he belongs the body of the pirate was killed on solomon island long before kingsmith was founded has risen from a grave perhaps even death couldn't keep his buccaneer heart away from the ocean find him and put him back to sleep all right Find the pirate zombie and kill him. Okay. Out of my way, fool. I have pirates to hunt. Hmm. He looks like he might be a pirate. Dixie Bull. I'm sorry, Dixie. Okay, maybe I'm not. Rest in peace. All right. We're on a roll here. 
We still need a daily challenge and a main mission. Let's look at our map and see what we've done. So we've done all this. Our choice is the, the scrap yard, the skate park, Let's see here. Sleep up to here. All right, to the skate park. Found the skate park. Oh, wow, he's got a bunch of stuff. Danny DeFusi. Men in black band. All right, young pop cultural survivalist Danny DeFrunz watched a men in black arrive to combat supernatural menaces. Or did they? According to the Fresni, they seem more interested in experimenting on the monstrous population. If they had ulterior motives, you should discover them. The men in black made a cons Conspicuous arrival of the convoy black van shirt the van parked to the north of the skate park. All right. Awesome. I knew it. First the zombies rise from the dead, then they send in the men in black, and then the guys with superpowers show up. This is totally like the August issue of Baton Guy and Headphones Girl. You know, the one in Antarctica with the tentacles and mutant Nazi zombies. I am so psyched to meet you. Can you, like, fly? We could really use some superhero action in this town. I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse. What do you think with all the hours I put into Left 4 Dead, they'd let me carry a gun. But I just get the work. You're only 15. <laughs> I'm also like the last man standing. Not counting Andy or Moose or Henry or Edgar. Anyway, it's not like I'm accidentally going to shoot anyone. Living. The sheriff doesn't even believe I sold the MIB's world in the black vans with no license plates. I used my RC plane with the wireless webcam, got a bird's eye view of the action. They're packing some sweet tech. Real made in Area 51 stuff. Good thing they're on our side. Um, they are on our side, right? <laughs> yeah, I figured they would be, since they're hurting up the mutant smurfs. You know the draw? They're probably experimenting on them. I think alien autopsy footage in front of a live studio audience. That'd be really neat. In a totally gross way, of course. <laughs> Alright, investigate the black van. Let's do this. Bum, 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 bum. Let's look around the skate park. Inspect hidden photos. Whoops. Hey, skater boy, I noticed your toy plane flying around my tent again. You just can't stop dreaming about me, can you? Guess your blood must be boiling hard. Haha. <laughs> if it's not, it will be when you see these. Oopsie, someone got caught. <laughs> Zombies around the fence of the skate park. There's a legend. I knew there had to be one in the area. We haven't had a legend today yet. Hey, Revenant. Can't you see I was trying to read a legend here? Fool. Don't mess with me. All right, local history. League of the Monster Hunters. Leagues. No girl policy changed the summer. Nika 
Vasquez. Nine times she asked for a membership and was denied with jeers and spitballs. The tenth time she showed up at the treehouse demonstrating an erudite knowledge of comic book lore and throwing several finger, a severed finger too long to be human at the feet of the gaping boys. Generations later and the League of Monster Slayer remembers, they pass on their stories mouth to mouth in secret notebooks. Every inexplicable incident gets scribbled down. Danny DeFruz leads the current league, but the fog comes and the other members disappear. Danny remains the last monster slayer at Kingsmouth. Ooh, the monster slayers. All right. Hey, buddy. Shipwreck. Seems to be a black van. Oh, right here. Okay. Black laptop. Let's hack the laptop. Input the password. Type hint. My wife. Well, now we have to figure out who his wife is. Emily Chan. Can't you see I'm inspecting bodies here? Would you back away from me? Katsune Kayabusha. I am terrible at pronouncing names. Okay, so let's try. Assuming that's the wife. Emily. No? Chan? Emily Chan. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe. It's his wife, but she's not here. So let's look at the orachigroup.com. Oh, employee finder. All right, now I got to make sure I spelled his name correctly. Okay, his number is one six eight eight four nine zero. It's um, I uh, Okay, let's go up here so we don't get attacked again. B. So we got employee ID one six eight eight four nine zero. So, Sally Anderson. All right, 
So, Sally might be the password. Boom! Field deploying occult actuator version 4. Mission control vial. In case of emergency, each component has an individual signature on your tracker. Do not leave advanced occult technologies behind in the field. Assembly sequence. Engage PK. Okay. Affix manifest. And then etheric. Minimum safe distance. The tracker. Okay, Etheric, transponder first. Or the manifest. Completed that. But we still haven't disengaged this thing over here. So I did it in the wrong order, it looks like. Alright, so reverse order says Etheric. Manifest. And then, PK. 
Says reverse order, turn on. Okay. Manifest agitator. Oh, I see, wrong PK. Rick transponder antenna. PK. Oh, I'm supposed to do the manifest first, darn it. Oh, got it. Ha! Cool. Before I take the moral high ground, I feel I should qualify the position. We cannot. Damn these corporate interests from operating without the thought to the Kingsmith survivors. After all, is this not similar to the instructions I gave you? You, however, are working towards a greater good. These scientists, by leaving an open invitation to further horrors, are only making a greater mess. The technology is impressive, but common sense of these applied, those applying it leaves much to be desired. And now they are dead. You see, our approach is so very needed. So I have one more main mission and a daily mission, but I got I need to reload the UI. One sec. All right. Let's continue. We can do this unfortunate corpse right here real quick since we're here. The body. The stinking waters have revealed a dreadful mangled corpse of a man chained to an engine block. It's clear he was murdered. The only clue to what happened to him and why lies in the keyring clutched in his bloated fingers. Drowned victim held a keyring with a plastic bobble that reads Edgar's Scrapyard. No questions asked. It's as good of lead as any. Go to the scrapyard. Find the car the key belongs to. All right. scrapyard which is over there well, we still need to get back to the skate park to, for a main mission but this might have a main mission too but we'll see we will see main missions in here. Well, let's finish the uh, car thing first. Boom! Just smoked your butt. Alright, we're looking for a car. Inspect the trunk of the car. Oh, snap. A trunk full of bo a body with money. That is just, man, sorry, dude. All 
All right, well, we could do that, but we were working on the kid at the skate park. So let's go back to the skate park and finish his next mission for our main. Yeah, we'll do the scrapyard next session. So I still need one. Okay. Well, that looks cool. Whatever it is. Interesting. All right. We'll get that some other time. Oh, and for those of you that were interested what the vanity item was, it was a camo jacket. Oh, military jacket right here. So there. We got a military jacket to go with the military pants we got last time. Let's do it up. Oops, wrong way. Skate park. Back to the skate park. All right, Danny, what do you got for us? ATC. This should complete our story missions of the day. A highly secretive group has set up camp at the local airport. Danny has tried spying them with makeshift surveillance equipment, but his plans are constantly foiled. He suspects foul's play and wants help to figure out what's really going on. Danny wants to use his remote control plane to spy on the Arachi boot. Keeps crashing. He thinks they have an EMP device, which disrupts and attempts using nearby plane. Okay, let's see what he has to say for us. Taking a break from saving the world, huh? I bet you've been out there punching darkness in the face and kicking evil in the uh, nuts. Or maybe you've been checking up on the MIBs. Come on. Dead guys followed by very much alive guys in black suits and black pants. Connect the dots. Anyway, that's what I can do. Connecting the dots. I rigged one of my RC planes with a wireless webcam. No biggie. Super easy stuff. I already did it last year for, um, research. Not to get footage of Mr. Rosen, my math teacher, watering the flowers in his underpants so I could put it on YouTube. That wasn't me. Flying this thing is like, uh, like air traffic control in Silent Hill. I pretty much have to rely on, like, the force. And then every time I get over the edge of the MIB camp, wham, it goes dead. And it goes down. They got some kind of signal scrambling going on. Maybe even EMP? I'd so love to get my hands on that tech. Of course, I got, like, mad skills, so I managed to salvage the plane every time. I have to keep pulling it out of trees and gluing bits back on. I'd really like to see what's going on inside that perimeter. Like Mr. Rosen used to say, try, try again, Dufresne. Of course he's a zombie now. Not that he's changed much. He's still Mr. Rosen, and he's still wearing those way too tight underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so fly the RC plane to the Irachi camp. Okay. This ought to be interesting. Then we'll have to go rescue the plane. Oops. Locate the plane. All right. Going to get the plane. As long as it's not in the junkyard, we're all good. Guys are in my way. 
And this thing moved again. Okay. There's the plane. Okay, we got a helicopter, antenna, a couple of shots of antenna. Picture shows position of three EMP generators. Investigate the Raji camp. Okay. Out to the golem. Ooh, look at all these guys. chests. All right. We're, oh, there's a tunnel. Yay. Examine the corpses. What's this? Complete the, without being seen. Okay. We gotta sneak in here. This uniform will not fit me. Okay. Locate the code to the field, force field. the code is yet. Return to Danny. Hmm. Legend.
How do I get seen? supposed to be out here. Whoopsie. I didn't think I got seen, but it looks like I didn't get the achievement on that one. Oh well. Oh, there's another side quest there. Now we get to fly the plane again! Yay! Complete our challenges for the day. Nice. Now we're into bonus challenges, but we're pretty much done for the day. We are frightfully concerned by the presence of the Rachi group. They are an immensely broad and powerful corporation conglomerate with influences on the council. As a result, we shouldn't be tampering in their affairs. One would like to believe they are using their excess means to contain their remedy and remedy the current situation, that is, of course, unlikely. Using a toy plane to keep tabs on their operation strikes me as rather unsophisticated. The Urachi will demiss it as a mere child's play. In other words, it is absolutely perfect. Nice! With that, we are going to call it a day and pick up next time right here Finishing it out with um, Danny and then heading over to the salvage yard and working on that. So I hope you uh, enjoyed our little long story time today. But we and I hope you're interested enough to come back and see more later. So with that, I bid you adieu. Good night and fair winds and following seas, my friends. Until the next.